Ambassador Bashar A. Hussein, you've just been elected the new Director General of the UPU from January 2013. But who is the man behind this? I come from uh, the northern part of Kenya, which is uh, a place called Mandera. Mandera is 1,500 kilometers northeast of the capital city of Nairobi. And then I went to University of Nairobi in 1980. And after I finished University of Nairobi in 1984, I joined the post office. I went through a series of postal management courses from accounting to human resource and uh, uh, business. And then uh, I remember I went through eight grades within 15 years to become the CEO of the Kenya Post and Telecommunications Corporation in 1999. That's when we split from the then giant Kenya Post and Telecommunications Corporation was split into three parts, postal, telecoms, and the regulatory authority. So I was given this mandate to run the postal uh, department. It was a very uh, weak institution. I had 5,500 employees. We had very little resources. We were not being subsidized by the government. We were told to be on our own. We didn't have money. We didn't have uh, even the basic uh, documents to transact business the day we were split. I was able to meet all my statutory requirements of payments and I went on a very aggressive postal reform programs that really transformed the corporation. I changed the complete identity of that organization. We did rebranding of the corporation. We came up with a new corporate uh, business uh, units and uh, were so motivated. And I made a surplus profit during my first year of operation. And thereafter, Post Office Kenya became one of the most successful postal enterprises in that region as well as in Africa. And many countries were coming to benchmark with us. I was the CEO for three years. And during that time, I, I attended, um, b before that, first uh, I was a young officer in Kenya Post. I used to attend international postal conferences. I attended the Seoul Congress in 1994. But in 1999, I was a CEO and I attended the Beijing Congress. And during that time, I was elected as a, a vice chairman of the Postal Operations Council. Uh, I was actually associated with the establishment of Quality of Service Fund. The most important stakeholders of the UPU are naturally the governments and their designated postal operators. But how will you deal with their sometimes very differing needs? The point is that first of all we are 192 different networks. It's independent countries with different languages, different cultures, different economic uh, and, and development levels. So now there are certain levels at which uh, the UPU as an entry point to these organizations. One, it is the center where all these countries look forward to for guidance and for support, technical support. At the same time, it is the responsibility of the member countries to carry out the, the, the good ideas and proposals and, and, and things that come out of this place. Governments are very central. I have run an organization and I understand the impediments that can be placed in the way of an organization if the government is not on board. Sometimes they don't even understand the postal business. It is the responsibility of the ex executives in those countries to be able to engage the governments. Because the government sets the policies. They are the ones who set the, the, the appoint the, the boards. They are the ones who appoint the management. So if they don't understand the business, then sometimes they can be independent. So my advice or my, 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 my priority would be, first of all, to make the government part of the, the business themselves or the postal business. See what is suits for every country. It's not a one fit all for everybody. So this will depend from country to country.